Hackers. Today we'll be starting our new series uh, that will be chat application using Monstack. Uh, we'll be covering uh, user login, user registration, creating chat rooms, um, authentication with socket IO, custom middlewares, and a lot of cool stuff. So let's start. Uh, we'll name this project chat cozy. So create a folder, open it in Visual Studio Code. So guys, stay subscribed to get more content like this. Uh, it really helps. So subscribe now to get notified more content for more content like this. So first, we need to create a package JSON file. Mm, so to do that, type npm init hyphen y, and it will get us the package JSON file. So for now, let's install express and let's install what is what else uh mongoose yeah let it let those two be installed for now so <clears throat> let's create a app.js file so start by importing let's zoom up the font right so const express equal to require express const app equal to express module dot exports equal to app so let's add some couple of middlewares so let's app dot use express dot station and express dot url imported extend it let's make it true <clears throat> so let's just stay up to there now let's create a server.js so let's import the app here mm -hmm. <clears throat> so so we'll listen on port 8000 and let's console log uh, server listening on port 8000 so yeah we have a basic server setup there so i'd like to head to the packages and file since this main index is just to server.js and since this is script from test to start and you'll need to add nordmon here so if you haven't installed nordmon uh, you can add like npm install nordmon uh, hyphen z this will install it globally so that you don't have to install it again and again in your projects so <clears throat> so let's add some uh, what what to add let's add some error handlers So I'll not be explaining this error handlers in details. I'll just leave out the code for you in my website. So do check that out. So this is the code in the error handler. It has a um, handler for not found page, uh, production errors, development errors, and mongoose errors, and also a catch error functions for our APIs, which we'll discuss later. So, <clears throat> so we'll go head to the app.js set up error handlers so what we'd like to do is after to use so first we need to import the error handlers error handlers equal to require handlers error handlers oh, let's make it error handlers right. so error handlers after to use so first we'll use not found error handlers dot not found then we'll use mongoose errors then after use error handlers dot um, development errors so if process dot env dot uh, env equal to equal to development 
so if it's in development we'll use this else we'll use error handlers dot production errors so let's set up an env file so create a dot env file uh, to read the env file we need to first uh, create let's first add a package npm install dot env so in the env i'll write env equal to development so that's what i wrote here right yeah development so let's add a database as well database will be mongo localhost slash say at cozy so that's it for the env file so we need to import the env file in the server js at the first line so require dot env dot config and that's it so now we can uh, get that so you can even add the port to the env file but let's keep it for now so now that we have it let's create some models so first let's set up the database const mongoose equal to require mongoose so first we need to connect to the database so mongoose.connect uh, url is so we created it in the env file process dot env dot database so that's it so let's check if the connection was successful or not mongoose dot connection dot on error so we'll get an error and so console dot log mongoose connection error and error dot message so that's it so another thing we'll be doing is mongoose dot connection dot once um what was this um i just forgot mongoose connection once so once open once open this console log um, console log mongodb connected so let's see if it works uh, npm start uh -huh. so there was an error what is the error expected mongodb okay okay so the env file is having some errors so make it mongodb so let's see let's run again and yeah mongodb connected but we are having some errors new url parser use unified topology okay so while connecting this make sure you pass these options so use unified topology true and, and then new use new url parser true so that's it so that will keep the mongodb set up so now let's create some models for this so let's create some folders for now so we'll be having controllers we'll be having routes we'll be having a folder for middlewares and we'll be having a folder for models so let's start by creating models so first model will be our user model so to create a model you need to require the mongoose first mongoose so create a schema const user schema equal to new mongoose dot create mongoose dot schema i guess yeah so pass it a definition so what we want is um, name so this will be of type string 
and it's required so make sure you don't try to write true in the required make sure you write some error message if it is not passed so name is required so next thing what we need is what do we need so we need an email so yeah so we will need an email type uh, string required yes email is required so next thing what you need is um, sorry about this so what else we need we need a uh, name email and we need a password <clears throat> so password is type of string and it is required so password is required so let's add some timestamps so let's allow timestamps to true so this will let us know when the user was created and when it was last updated so let's export this model so module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model uh, user name of the model and the pass of the schema user schema so let's copy this and create another model so another model will be for chat room so, so let's make this chat room schema so chat room will have a name and that's it nothing else so that's it chat room so chat room and we'll pass in chat room schema so copy this again and let's create a model for chat message so message such as and these are the three models that we'll be using in this project so message schema okay so the message schema doesn't have a name so what does it have so we will have a chat room so this will be of chat room schema let's make it um like string we can make it a string but let's keep it as type of mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id so chat room is required so we'll store the id of associated to the message chat room id associated to the message so chat room is required so next thing we mean what we need is we need a user user is also a Thing, and we need to reference it to the chat room model so that's good so user we need to reference it to the user model so I think that's what we need and we need a message sorry about that so message we need uh, type of string and it's required we can't send an empty message so message is required so that's it so message schema model it as message and pass in the message schema so once you've created all the models go to the server.js and after this connection bring in all the models so bring in the models so require slash models slash user and let's duplicate this so user chat room and message so these are the things and hopefully it's running so in the next video we'll be doing the routes and the controllers for the login and registration so till then see you guys bye bye